number right on this is Chris. How can I help you? Yeah, we just got another call about uh, some sort of devices or something on my account for what Verizon. Do what do you mean another call, sir? Uh, I think I've gotten about three of these. Let me take a look. Um, is your number ended in 340? Hold on. Is that your 304? Yeah? All right. Yeah, that's it. So let me take a look to see why you received this phone call, okay? Go ahead. Okay, Mr. Brian, you say that you received this phone call before, right? Yeah. And you talked to a rep or to an agent? Yeah, we did. Look, this is Jack Spibbon from Spibbon and Spibbon Incorporated. I'm uh, Brian T. Shirley's manager. He's uh, he's taking a chocolate bath right now. He's uh, got a big interview coming up, so I'm handling all his calls right now. Oh, okay, okay. Let me take a look to see why he received this phone call, okay? Yeah. Hey, did you get that lobster? Put it over uh, by the, uh, yeah, the Tennessee whiskey. Make sure Herbert gets that. Sir? Hello? I'm here, sir. Just I'm looking on the account to see why he received the phone call, okay? Yeah, he keeps getting these calls. Is this uh, in reference? We got a show coming up in about a month in uh, Charleston, South Carolina. We just signed a contract on that in uh, the Mount Pleasant area. Then it's the Coastal Carolina Fair. That takes place on November 6th. Okay. Well, the thing is, um, I see that he have a fraud on the account. That someone tried to make a purchase on the account for four iPads. Can you please ask him if he tried to make a purchase for four iPads on California? California? Oh, no. No, and you just woke him up, too. He's he's, he's, he's he's highly irritated right now. No, no, no. So, as the color monitor recording, I don't know if you have me a speaker, but as the color monitor recording, I'm going to explain to you what's going on on your account, okay? All right, let's get it over there. All right. I'm sorry? We're trying to move around some stuff here. We got a lot of stuff going on. I got to get all this crap over to Tennessee, like, in 20 hours. Oh, my goodness. Well, I'm tr I'm going to try to speed it up, but as a color monitor recording, um, let me explain to you what's going on on the account, okay? All right. Hey, get out. Get that out of the... That pipe don't go there. Ah, shoot. Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. He looks like that someone make a purchase on your Verizon wireless account. Someone tried to buy four iPads, 11-inch, and they tried to send those devices to Santa Ana, California. The thing is, you don't live from California, guys. You live from South Carolina, correct? Well, we're here sometimes. Well, due to this type of purchase, you have a pending charge for $2,100. And that's why Verizon Wireless called you right away, guys. Because if you don't make this purchase, we need to cancel these orders and then remove the charges on your account. Yeah, they did right this uh, last week, too. Go ahead and cancel those. Uh, we already got a lawyer on the other one. Uh, and, uh, we got some people going to jail and when they go to jail, uh, our lawyer has them in a special, uh, facility now. And, uh, there's a lot of reaming. They get reamed really bad in there. So that's what we're going to do with these people that do these, uh, scam things. Uh, we get them reamed and when they get reamed, they don't do anything like this again. Let me tell you. Cause it only usually it only takes one good reaming. Cause if you get, uh, I don't, know, I don't know how that person doing this, sir. But you know, I deal with this situation every single day here at the Verizon Wireless Fraud Department. But again, as the caller monitor recording, I need to explain to you the situation on your wireless account because twenty one hundred dollars is a lot of is a lot of money for one simple account. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, that's why we this is flagged. As a matter of fact, uh, I think that uh, Hugo uh, Ventry is going to be getting on this one real quick. He's a high, high dollar lawyer, uh, but he owes me a favor. So he's going to get in on this. You know Hugo Ventry, right? He uh, represented uh, the Ventry twins. That's how he got started. And they sued uh, Elvis Presley's old manager. Uh, oh, my goodness. Yeah. So, look. uh Go ahead and cancel that and tell them if they don't, uh, if they touch us with that $2,100, uh, 
uh, then it's going to turn it into, uh, you're going to multiply that by about 30, and that's going to be the uh, punitive damages. And then uh, when we get the guys who are doing these scams, uh, they're going to go to... Uh, you know, we have, right now, right now we are tracking down the IP address from the person who made the purchase to see what is this person exactly located and how that person be able to access your account. Once we have the address from that person, we're going to open up a police report and we're going to send authorities to that address to see how that person be able to access to the account, how that person be able to, you know, to make purchase on your account without your concern. Because okay. this is federal time, you know what I mean? All right. All right, so get that canceled and uh, just just file a report and send it our way, and we'll take care of the rest. Don't don't worry, sir. So um, what I'm going to do now is let me confirm the address that you're supposed to have on files because also they change it for an address on California. The address that you're supposed to Avenue, apartment A, S, in Apple, Charleston, South Carolina, 29414, correct? Well, that is just one of them. We can't confirm all that because... Uh, for privacy concerns, because Mr. Shirley has got to uh, remain private in his... Uh, well, just I'm, just I'm telling you the address that you have on Verizon, okay? Okay. So go ahead so and... Uh, to, so I, you, need to put your, uh, I need to put your address back as a default on the account, okay? I just send you a Verizon wireless alert, like a notification through your phone. Once you get it, just stop on allow and submit for me. No, just go ahead and cancel because we can't do all that stuff. We did, we tried that last time, and that's how to get through to us. Sir, I need to follow up protocol of verification. That's why I sent you the notification right now. Do you see it? Uh, no, we can't see that right now. But let me tell you something. Uh, we got to get this done, like pronto. So I want that canceled, and uh, that's all you got to do. Just hit this. So. They tried to do it again, and, uh, <laughs> damn it, I was about to go off, but he hung up, because he knows that I know he's a screw-up. So, anyway, that was a long one, folks. Sorry about that, but they tried it again. They they want you to get, they want you to hit some sort of uh, a verification thing, and I never do, and then they hang up. See, that's not Verizon. Verizon would not just hang up because you won't hit a verification code. So these are really BS calls, and I keep getting them. I've got a number I can send this to, which I'm going to research real quick and see if I can get this number to them. Thank you for calling Verizon Waters. This is Joseph speaking. How may I assist you? Uh, yeah, I just got a call about some devices uh, added to my account. I upgraded. You upgraded, and regarding that upgrade, do you happen to have any other authorized users on the account that is authorized to make any upgrades, trade-ins, or add any new additional lines on the account? No. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, let's go ahead and see other than the upgrade, if there's any more details or any orders that I do need to provide you before proceeding with any cancellations here today. Any cancellations do include a fraud investigation that determines where these orders may have originated from here today. I'm going to go ahead and send you a push notification. That's your number ending in two. Long oh, long yeah. Long. Uh, I, I got one of these earlier. Just go ahead and cancel that. Yeah, take it over to Frank's house. Yeah, he's got that poodle. Anyway, yeah. Just go ahead. Go earlier, sir? Just get that canceled because we're going to send these people to the facility. Uh, we've already got some folks on this. I'm uh, Jack Spibbon from Spibbon and Spibbon and Associated. And uh, I'm the manager for Brian T. Shirley, and we're getting all this. We're getting everything documented, putting it together, and we're going to slap it in there. Okay, do you have a case number there? Have you already started the um, investigation on the account? Uh, Yeah, but it's our case number. It's not y'all's. We've got the case number 480768 Schmibben. And that's for Verizon, or that's for what company? Schmibben and Schmibben Incorporated. Well, Sh no. Smibbin and Smibbin Associates, but we're incorporating in about six months. Okay, but what I'm referring to is an order on your Verizon Wireless account, sir. No. Only with Verizon Wireless. No, we don't. So go ahead and cancel those uh, devices. Last time it was four of them. This time it's two. They keep changing the numbers. God damn it. So let's go ahead and get them canceled again. Let's go ahead and get you authenticated before I proceed. Did you receive an alert there from Verizon Wireless? 
oh yeah, we can't authentic. We're we're not pushing any uh, stuff because if we do, uh, that's how they got us last time. So just go uh, ahead and cancel all that. That's not how it works. Sir. I need to authenticate you over the phone. Ah, uh, well, this is uh, Jack Spibbin from Spibbin and Spibbin Associates, uh, Brian T. Charlie's manager. Hey, quit putting that, that octopus. Don't go there, you idiots. Stop that. I got to get all this stuff out of here. We gotta, we're got we going to Tennessee in about uh, three hours. All right, have a safe drive, and I'll go ahead and get everything taken care of, okay? Now, you're going to cancel all that, right? Yes, sir. All right, make sure that gets canceled. We don't want any charges on uh, the Verizon. And... Uh, if we do, we got to get that reaming going, and we, they don't want that at the facility. Okay, most definitely will do so here. All right, they keep calling. That's the second one in about 20 minutes. They always want you to verify stuff. Real quick update. I've talked to Verizon, and do not verify when they send you a text if you get one of these scam calls these numbers have been handed over to verizon and being researched for fraud and i let them know that i recorded it so if they want the recordings i'll send them those as well bts comedy folks